guys i'm addicted what's up my cherry bombs <laughs> here my name is abby on this channel we talk about fragrances anything that has to do with smelling good feeling good that's what we talk about and occasionally we do lifestyle content and if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in go ahead and click that subscribe button that's how you join the cherry bombs all of my cherry bombs already know once you're subscribed to this channel there's potential to get giveaways there's different ways to win fragrances there's discounts to different type of fragrances and if you keep a lookout on my communities tab there's always a good deal there you never know so you have to turn on your notification bell if you're returning cherry bomb welcome back to the channel you already know how we do here all right you guys so by the title of this video you already know it's about to get down we're not gonna hold you too long i'm gonna just get right into it today i have a very special video and this video is so dear to my heart <laughs> it is because girl these are my most addictive fragrances now honestly in my collection almost everything that i own is addictive but i had to narrow it down to 10. so these are the most addictive fragrances for the month of july these are the fragrances that i was really obsessed with really addicted to and i just couldn't put my hands on whether it was for going out on a date whether it was fresh out of the shower whether it was church whether it was a performance it doesn't matter these are the fragrances that really really stood out to me for the month of july and i wanted to share them with you guys is that okay is that cool if that's cool with you i want to go ahead and get right into this video so we're gonna go ahead and start off with a powdery fragrance now this fragrance is categorized as a sweet and powdery fragrance it is one that i'm super addicted to but it's one that i like to wear going to bed i've only worn this fragrance out one time and i think that was only going out on a little intimate date movie date with my husband I've never really worn it out, but whenever it's time to do cuddle sessions or do Netflix and chill, me and my husband enjoy watching scare movies a lot. So when it's time for that, we are always cuddling all up, up under every, every little thing that we own, you know, we're all up in each other's face. So I like fragrances that's very inviting, that's very warm, that's very powdery, and that's also cute and sexy. And this is one that I see myself pulling for almost every other night when it comes to a vanilla fragrance, Ubois Vanilla. Now this is 100 ml. This fragrance is categorized as a sweet and powdery fragrance. And in this fragrance, you have beeswax, you have vanilla, you have powdery notes, you have tonka bean and almond. But what really stands out in this fragrance is that coconut, that vanilla, the almond, and the tonka bean. When I tell you this fragrance is amazing, this is one that I love to wear to bed. I love to wear this. Now, this is one that I would wear if I am freshly shaved, freshly you know like everything is super fresh i did my extra routine like i exfoliated i moisturized i deep cleansed i did everything talking about like fresh out of the shower smelling good and i moisturized my skin this is what i will pull for because it just screams out feminine when i'm in that feminine mode trying to give off my extreme feminine energy this is one that i pull for because it is so pretty and feminine and i think that when i'm trying to be more gentle and i'm trying to be held this is the one that i like to wear this is super addictive especially during the night time i highly highly recommend for you to test this one out if you haven't already it is an amazing fragrance from serge Luton. it is very popular but it, i i love it i really do and there's a little waxy feel to it that i really enjoy and i think that's what keeps me going back for more this next one is also categorized as a sweet powdery woody fragrance but this one is definitely different from ubwa vanilla now this one you get more of that sweetness you get almost like a chocolatey feel to this fragrance and you get more of a dessert so this is one that i would pull for on nights where i do want to be held a little bit longer i don't want to sit and watch that two hour movie i want to watch the movie for like five minutes and then next thing you know i wake up in the morning with a smile on my face if you get me you get me this is the vibe that this fragrance is giving me and this is the vibe that i want every single time i wear this it is so comforting and so inviting and it's so intimate in a way 
that I just I'm just addicted to it, you know? And this is from the house of Van Cleef and Arpel. And this is called Orchidy Vanilla. Now, this one has notes of vanilla, dark chocolate, tonka bean, vanilla orchid, almonds, cedar wood. It also has lychee in it as well, which was very weird because when you have chocolate, vanilla, and tonka bean almond, I did not think to put lychee in it. What? Now, I'm not saying that I don't have other fragrances that have those notes, but usually the lychee is at the top. This is all blended in. What really stands out the most to me is the chocolate, the vanilla, the musk in this, the almonds. The tonka bean is there, but the tonka bean kind of gives it more of a powdery feel. The chocolate kind of does too, but the chocolate and the vanilla really, really, really amplifies on my skin. And this is one that I have a perfume oil too. And when I'm wearing this, I go ahead and I apply my perfume oil on top of my lotion, or I would take the perfume oil and put a good amount in my palm and then put my lotion and mix it all together and just rub it all over my body. And this is one of those that when my husband smells it, he says, oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is one that I'm super addicted to and I'm planning on getting a second bottle. It is not one that lasts forever. It's gonna be close to the skin, but it's good to have fragrances like that that's perfect close encounters. Now this does last a good four hours. The best part of this fragrance is the sillage in the air for me to be honest and the fact that it's close to the skin because sometimes I like when my fragrance is close to the skin. I want you to smell my neck okay this is that type of fragrance i don't sometimes you just gotta come closer can i come closer i don't know where that's from but that's the type of vibes this give me and orchidy vanilla is one that i've been really addicted to throughout the month of july now this next one is one that i've been so addicted to but not on me my husband been wearing it and every time he wear it i just i just just can't contain myself I just cannot speak properly like I'm just like babbling I'm like oh you smell so good <laughs> like I just can't stop like it just makes me hot like hot and bothered whenever he wears this and I'm so addicted to it to the point that I'm telling her go ahead and wear that one go ahead and wear this one this is one from Navitas perfume and it's from Monica couch release and this one is carte blanche now this one is categorized as sweet, warm, spicy fragrance. It has notes of almond, jasmine, cardamom, bergamot, peru blossom, ambergris, vanilla, musk, patchouli, vetiver, and majoran, you guys, Italian majoran. And when I tell you guys, the first time I smelled this fragrance, I was like, ooh, this is a really good almondy vanilla fragrance for a man. Now, of course, it is definitely unisex. When I smelled this fragrance, I was like, we finally found a vanilla, creamy, almondy fragrance that a man can wear too because it's kind of hard to find that for a man unless he wears one that is geared towards women which is not a big issue but I'm, I'm so happy that we have carte blanche because this is one that is so good now my, my husband wears this all the time and I just gotta say that he be smelling good okay my baby be smelling so good and whenever he pulls this out he likes to wear this when we're running errands because it's a warm and spicy fragrance for the fall time, but my husband don't care about the rules. He will wear whatever he wants at the time that he wants to. You can't tell him otherwise. I'll be telling him, this is a winter fragrance. He says, this is when I want to wear it. I'm like, cool, no problem, cool beans. So he's always pulling for this. He's been wearing this for the past week. And when I tell you guys, I'm addicted. I'm addicted, okay? It is so good. All right, you guys, so this next one is kind of not a surprise for y'all. Y'all know that I'm addicted to this fragrance. It is amazing. It is alluring. It is one from Kayali, and it is a vanilla fragrance, and it is Kayali Vanilla 28. This is categorized as a sweet fragrance, of course. Y'all already know what's in this. It's vanilla, jasmine, brown sugar, tonka bean, amber musk, patchouli, and amber wood. Whenever you have vanilla, amber musk tonka bean in a fragrance just know that you have a sexy fragrance now imagine adding that brown sugar the brown sugar to me gives me life it gives me youthfulness and whenever you add brown sugar to a fragrance i just feel like okay this is youthful but it's not juvenile you know what i'm saying this is one that i really really enjoy i love layering it i love this is like 
this is some top tier stuff for me. Even though it's from Kayali and it's not from like one of those huge Rojas, um, Fragrance Dubois brands, I still put it up in that category because it's a really nice vanilla. And it's hard for me to find a really nice vanilla that I can wear all year round, that I like all year round. But when it comes to Kayali Vanilla 28, I find that in this. And I've really been addicted to this. I've really been loving this. And sometimes I look at the bottle, I'm like, okay, girl, stop spraying. But then I spray it again. And then I spray it again like I'm doing right now. I'm spraying it. Ugh, it's so delicious. I'm so addicted to this. It's unreal. I don't know if y'all noticed, but all the fragrances that I've been addicted to are warm and spicy fragrances. And the next one is a warm, spicy fragrance. This is a beautiful one. This is one that I haven't had in my collection for too long, but I'm really loving it. And it's really working its way up to the top 10 fragrances, to be honest, you guys. It is one that is from a celebrity brand. It's from Billie Eilish and it's called Eilish. I like it because of the bottle one, but I fell in love with it because the juice that's in the bottle. Sometimes it's hard to, for you to find a bottle that you love, the juice that you love. It's just like, I just get that tingling feeling inside, you know? This has sugar, it has red berries, it has mandarin orange, it has vanilla, it has cacao, it has spicy notes and rose. My favorite part of this fragrance is the tonka bean, amber, and woody notes at the base. This has got to be one of the prettiest, feminine, sweet fragrances that I've ever smelled from a celebrity. It is so sensual and alluring in my opinion. When I think about this fragrance, I think of um, strawberries dipped in chocolate with some whipped cream on the side. I just think about some pretty, pretty soft vanilla cake that's very moist and just delicious. I love that and it's super addictive. This next fragrance is definitely a fragrance in my top 10. It's addictive because I love it and I wear it but it is one of those fragrances that I just cannot not have in my collection. This is my second bottle and I'm in love with it. It's from the House of Man, Sarah, and it is Instant Crush. Now, for those that don't know, this has ginger at the top, it has Cillian Maiderin, it has rose, jasmine, vanilla, white musk, oak moss, and all that good stuff. Featured it in so many other videos in my collection. This is one of the sexiest fragrances I've ever smelled. When I put this on my skin, can't nobody tell me nothing. It just brings up my confident level. I'm already confident, but this makes me extra confident. Kind of conceited whenever I wear this. Like you really don't smell better than me. When I wear this fragrance, this is one that I am in love with and I'm addicted to it. I feel like I'm gonna always be addicted to it. It's just so good. This next fragrance is one that is such a pretty fragrance. When I first smelled it, I was just at all because I just had to have this bottle. This is a fragrance that's categorized as a fruity floral. It is also sweet. This is one that I really, really love. It's from Swiss Arabian and it is called Casa Blanca. This has the top notes of apples and grapes, chili and iris and woods in the mid. Then in the base you have amber, suede, caramel, musk and Peru balsam. Wow. This is probably the prettiest apple fragrance in my collection and caramel. This is like a salted caramel fragrance in my opinion. Y'all know, I don't know if you guys know this, but I really love caramel in real life. So whenever I have it in a fragrance, it just makes my mouth water. It makes me wanna get a caramel macchiato. This is what this reminds me of. It doesn't have coffee, but it has that caramel and that amber makes it very sensual. And then of course, paired with that apple and all those other citruses and stuff like that just brings out the best fragrance, hands down. And this is one that you can also layer with a lot of fragrances. Super, super addictive. I love it. This next fragrance, the only way you wouldn't know that I'm addicted to it is only if it's your first time here because this is one that i'm always sharing on my instagram always sharing on my tiktok and of course always sharing in my youtube videos it's from ysl ysl libre edt i mean i don't even have to talk you could just look at the bottle and you'll see that i'm addicted to it this is categorized as a citrusy white floral this is one that i love to wear just to wear it started off in the bedroom i love to wear it fresh out of the shower but then I started to wear it out because my husband was like, this smells so good, you need to wear this out. I really enjoy it on your skin. One of the main notes that I get from this fragrance is lavender. And y'all know I love a good lavender scent, especially when it comes to a long day, I wanna wind down. I want to 
smell lavender around me. I want to shower with lavender. I want to smell like lavender because it's super calming and super relaxing. And then of course, orange blossom. Y'all know I love my orange blossom. And when you add orange blossom, musk and vanilla with lavender, you have the perfect everyday fragrance for me. Now this and next one is one that I was addicted to before I got that Libre. This is one that I was waking up fresh out of the shower and just spraying on. This was my every single day fragrance until I got the Libre, but I still didn't forget about it because now I interchange them. But y'all, this is one from Prada. Prada La Femme. Now this is categorized as a floral fragrance. In my opinion, it is a pretty, pretty soapy fragrance. It has the notes of magnolia, carrot seeds, and bergamot. Rajapani, ylang ylang, tuberose, iris. Base you have vanilla beeswax and vetiver. Mm. This is one that I had to wear every single day. It is so pretty, it was creamy, soapy. It is a good fragrance from Prada. This is my only fragrance from Prada and it's because it's such a good one. This has tuberose, but the tuberose in this is not too heavy. What you get more is that ylang ylang, the frangipani, you get some of that vanilla, the musk, and the beeswax in this. I wanna say you get some of that carrot seed. I, I get that vibe, but you don't get it throughout the whole fragrance. This is such a pretty, pretty solid fragrance and it lasts on your skin it will get you the compliments it is a work friendly fragrance this is one that is perfect for anyone that is in the medical field because you're not trying to overpower people but you still want people to smell you and you still want to smell good it is the perfect one i'm so addicted to this fragrance and i feel like by the end of the summer this one and libre will be gone all right you guys so we are at my last addictive fragrance now this fragrance is so addictive and I'm, i cannot put it down but i'm gonna have to and give it a break because it is sadly being discontinued so if i don't get me a backup bottle anytime soon then baby once it's out it's gonna be out for me but it is one of the prettiest fragrances I've ever smelled. It is a aldehyde vanilla fragrance. Well, that's what they categorize it as. But you guys, I would have to say it is one of the icy cold vanilla fragrances in my collection. And it's from Tom Ford, Metallic. Mm. I'm addicted, okay? This is out the highs, it's pink pepper at the top. Get bergamot. In the mid, you get heliotrope, hawthorne, and lily of the valley. The base, you get vanilla, amberette, which is musk mellow. That is kind of like marshmallow, rue blossom, and sandalwood. Now, let's go back to the amberette. Amberette is one note that I've noticed that I have in a lot of fragrances that I fall in love with. Um, it is in one of my Aaron fragrances, and this is one note that really makes a fragrance smells like marshmallows. It's almost kind of milky and kind of warm so it's kind of it kind of gives that lactonic vibe in a fragrance and I, that's what i'm getting from this aside from that icy cold vanilla vibe that's what i'm getting from this now this is one of the prettiest vanillas and the most unique vanillas in my collection um when you smell this of course you're gonna smell tom ford it's giving tom ford vibes but when i wear this fragrance it gives boss lady vibes it gives alien vibes. And when I say alien, like, wow, who is that? What does she smell like? I've never smelled that before. That's the type of vibes this gives me. I love this fragrance. And sadly, it is getting discontinued. But you can still find it maybe for the next one or two years on the discounters because it is not one of those fragrances that's like, let's just say if Vanilla 28 went discontinued that is going to sell out in two seconds no it's one of those fragrances that when it was hyped it was hyped now it's chilled so you could definitely find it anywhere and these were the fragrances that i'm addicted to you guys i love these fragrances and i feel like you guys will like these too if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because that's gonna tell youtube that you really like what i'm doing on here and if you're not following me already go ahead and follow me on my instagram and my tiktok because that's where we get lit lit. We get litty on here, but we get lit lit over there, okay? If you're not already part of the Cherry Bombs, what are you waiting for? Because at this point, girl, 
it's kind of getting lame, okay? You got to be part of the bombs. You have to, because we're it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell while you're at it. I'll put everything in the description box below. If I have any type of coupon, I'll link it for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fragrance video. I loved it. I love recording this for you. Each and every one of you guys, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye. Bye.